Thank you. Um, item two on the agenda, amendment of the Transportation Commission bylaws. Um, we're supposed to discuss and uh, revise the frequency requirement of the Transportation Commission meeting times in the bylaws uh, discussion amongst Transportation Commission members. Um, uh, yes, Director uh, Melnichenko, you want to guide us on that? Abs absolutely. Uh, Commissioner Lull and, and Commission members, th this item um, looks at the amount of, you know, we, we've been meeting a third Thursday of every month. We were um, talking about in, internally, and I think we, we brought it up uh, with you and Vice Chair also about meeting um, every other month. So what I'll do is go through some of these slides and um, discuss the process that we would need to go through after your discussion and deliberation. Um. Next slide, please. There we go. We're, we're looking at this as a two-step process. First, we would have to amend the current bylaws, which uh, we'll show on, on the next slide, and then discuss and vote on the desired meeting frequency. Um, to go along with that, staff wants to respect the commission member's time and, and br to bring action items to the commission as the majority of the items during meetings. I think we've seen uh, that uh, in, in addition, the proposed meeting frequency will allow a, a pattern of paths and trails, subcommittee one month, and then the commission the next month. So we, we would kind of have uh, that type of pattern for our meetings. And then staff will provide information on the projects and programs um, uh, during, the, during the month, uh, off month of commission um, as needed. We were just thinking that this could be a better use of time as well as information and mixture of action items. Director Melanchenko, can you speak just a little bit louder? Uh, I don't think it's, uh, is anybody else noticing that sound is kind of harder to hear up here than it would be normally? Yeah, there is, so it's always the windows that are moving. Yeah, there's, oh. there's some sort of sound issue that makes it hard to hear. Commission members, the AC is on, I think that's what it is, so we'll be sure to speak up and just speak clearly in your mics. Thank you. Next, next slide. This is the current bylaws, and as stated, regular meetings of the commission are, reg are generally to be held on the third Thursday of each month, and then there's um, other text, standard text. And uh, as the next slide shows, we would, for step two. Next slide, please. Yeah. Thank you. Um, these would be the proposed changes, and that would be uh, where regular meetings of the commission are generally uh, to be held on the third Thursday of January, March, May, July, September, and November. And um, when it is determined between public meetings that a meeting should be canceled, then we go about the, uh, the, 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 con the continual protocol. But we're, we're, this is kind of how we're suggesting the uh, amendment of the bylaws. And then the recommendation on the next slide would be to update the bylaws to reflect bi-monthly Transportation Commission meetings as stated January, March, May, July, September, and November. And then updating the bylaws of the Transportation Commission will allow members to take a separate vote to update the meeting frequency as decided by the commission. So, in the updated bylaws would take effect at the next commission meeting following a, uh, an alternative vote. And so, what we would like to as part of the next step is to discuss and vote to update the meeting frequency if the commission feels that's appropriate. and just op open it up for discussion. Um, Director Melnicheko, looking at 
to the agenda for the next few months. Uh, do you believe uh, bi-monthly meetings could handle the items we have? Um, I, Commissioner or uh, uh, Chair Lowell, yes, I, I believe that we could have a strong mix of both information as well as action items. And if there's other information to be sent to the commission, we could do that um, on the off off month that is uh, uh, that is designated for the subcommittee. So, uh, and then those quest other questions could be brought to the commission meeting. So, I think that we I think that it would work well. Um, a related question then, um, we generally end up uh, having the meeting for two, two and a half hours. Uh, would we be able to accommodate in the same time or are we talking three or more hours for each meeting? We, we would strive for the, the same schedule. I think since we've started a number of years ago, or when I, since I've started here, we've tried to keep it um, with a finished time of 7.30, and I think we would still strive to do that. I think we would um, craft our presentations and information to be concise and to also present beforehand in the packages the appropriate information for the commission. I'll open the discussion to the rest of the commission members. Uh, yes, uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Chairman Lowell and uh, Mark. The um, are other commissions shifting to this bi-monthly platform? Um, I think maybe Kyle might have some information on the other commissions. Yeah, Commissioner Wilcoxon, members of the Transportation Commission. There are some commissions and boards that. Uh, meet on a bi-monthly basis. There are some that meet on a, a monthly basis, so it really kind of just depends. Um, we're not necessarily seeing a trend in moving in that direction. We just want to be, again, cognizant of your guys' time. Um, and I do want to reiterate, as Director Melanchenko said, we can still send out informational and project and programs updates to you via email and answer any questions that you may have in the off months as well. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Um, um, you know, I guess the other, I, I guess my, my concern, A, is that these are fun, these meetings are fun to go to, um, uh, but they're not free. Um, and I, as a taxpayer, too, I guess I would want the meetings to be more valuable. And I recognize that um, having them every other month, we would be able to get more, uh, maybe more value per minute of meeting. Um, so I'm, I'm not opposed to that. Um, I, I think having them every month, though, does allow for a better uh, education. Um, even though I'm in the transportation business, I learn a lot from these meetings, from uh, the, the updates that we get every month. So I can see it either way. Um, I guess the, other, the only other question I had, though, was um, by going to a uh, bi-monthly, we do vote on things that have some urgency, um, is that going to handicap us in the future uh, if something comes up that is urgent with the city business that needs approval from the Transportation Commission? Um, will having to wait two months potentially cause a problem for the business of the city? I, I, uh... Commissioner Wilcox and, and commission members, I, I would think that if something were extremely important that needed to be brought to the commission, then um, we would make some change, you know, some modifications to the schedule as needed. Um, we understand that that would occur sometimes, especially on the transportation side. There, there are items that um, are of importance that need to be brought to the commission. So we would we would um, adjust the schedule as needed. Thank you. Any questions? Um, yes, Robert. Thank you for that. Right. Okay. Thank you. I think cutting to six is too much. I think we get a lot of information. 
um, at these meetings, and cutting in half of is not enough time. I think eight or nine might be a better number since it would give us a summer off perhaps in December and another month, but I think six is too few. Uh, Mr. Gokta? Um, yeah, I, I agree with uh, Commissioner Martin. The, I, I don't quite understand the, the need to do it, I guess, and then if uh, like, and, and I also, there's a lot of information that I get from here. I'm, st I still feel like I'm fairly new to this uh, commission and all the stuff that's going on there. And so these monthly updates and information I find really valuable. And um, and then I guess the other question, because I understand there's not a, at the moment there doesn't seem to be a lot of action that's needed from us. Um, and so I could understand from that point wanting to cut back but would there be a review to put it back to monthly if we need it mostly I'm thinking about how transportation seems to be one of the things that is motivating a lot of discussion in the city right now and uh, and so I would I would think that there would be more coming and I wouldn't want to be on the bi-monthly schedule if there's going to be a lot of action spurred by that uh, by that discussion um, and focus on transportation. Commissioner Coftile, members of the comments? commission. Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, I, I can agree with both points. I, I can see how uh, perhaps m taking the meetings to half in a year uh, can be useful, but um, in the time I've been here, we've had quite lengthy meetings and sometimes there are items that we want to discuss a lot more than others or that spur more conversation than other items. And um, I guess my concern is uh, uh, similar to my colleagues here, what would be the difference between uh, maybe shorter um, monthly meetings where we can have the, the kind of conversation and depth that we want in the topics that are important to us uh, instead of uh, trying to condense a two and a half hour agenda and maybe cutting ourselves short, um, trying to reach that, that end time if we have it six times uh, a year. Also, uh, with some months that are busier for everyone, like November, uh, what would be the possibility to crafting a schedule where maybe those holiday months where people might be out or summer months or however it is, maybe those months we don't meet. That, that's a, a strong idea brought up by a number of the committee members and certain times of the year we have taken holiday months off. So maybe maybe that's the alternative type of schedule that we should we could move forward with is uh, when we get close to the mid midsummer months. I know we've taken July off um, at times and then December uh, for the holidays. So maybe that could be um, the, the path forward. But um, thank you for those comments. Any other comments, questions? Yes, Emmy. Thank you. Um, I would lean more towards longer meetings and fewer just to accommodate the staff and everyone who has to attend. I think that that is a more efficient use of time. We did meet 10 months this past year because we did take December and July off. And but I agree that nine or eight would maybe be uh, better than, than six. But I think that um, you could craft the agendas to suit what you think is necessary, and then I think those intermonth information packets would be very helpful as well. Yes, Mr. Kopta. Yeah, I would, uh, I guess if we wanted to move to like every six weeks instead of every four weeks or take certain months off, I, I wouldn't find that object, you know, I think six, cutting in half seems a bit much. Uh, but, uh, but I'd be open to reducing the number of meetings, so. Okay. Um, Mark, sounded like um, um, you were suggesting taking two months out, July and December, and have 10 meetings, maybe? We, we've done that in previous years. 
where um, during the summer many people are on vacation and a lot of times we were connected virtually but um, in COVID and post-COVID time uh, we also had taken December off for the holidays in previous years so that that's an option too that we would always consider because of people being out of town so um, let's discuss do we want to go six or do we want to go ten let's kind of do a quick straw vote on, on that first maybe Commissioner Wilcoxon, let's, can you turn your mic okay, on? Okay, let, uh, let's discuss yeah. that. What, six I was just or nine. suggesting nine months rather than the uh, okay. six or ten. Okay. Okay. Cool. Or, um, like Harry said, nine months where we know what two of those off months are and one that maybe it's floating for a time that there aren't an agenda item. Um, yes, please. <laughs> I know we're all over the place here. Um, I, I kind of like nine months because I understand the need, the desire for six months because we don't need to be sitting here and get report after report after report because we can, you know, read them. Um, but, you know, cutting them in half just does seem very drastic. Now, having said that, though, I would prefer input from the staff whether we should do, um, if we're going to do nine months, three months, one month off, three months, one month, or to take them all, you know, a couple months in the summer, in, in December. I mean, what from your experience in planning and what happens would be the good time to take these, these times off if we went to nine months? Uh, Vice Chair Miller, uh, I mean, our previous experience has, and, and it's worked, but we were just trying to create a better situation for everyone's time. But if, in fact, it has in previous years worked where we've taken some time off during the summer and some time off during the uh, holiday season, maybe when we get to that point, uh, the, the commission would take a vote on uh, what, what time would be taken off when we get to that season. Um, so apart from July and December, do we want to settle on another month to take off or uh, leave that uh, as we go? I, I think we, when we get closer to that time and we understand everyone's schedules, et cetera, it would probably be a, a time to discuss a month or two ahead of time. Okay. Yes, please. Uh, if I can ask then, do we need to move to change the bylaws that we will meet nine times a year? No. Okay. I think we, we can continue with the current bylaws. So, Director Milenchenko, um, Vice Chair Miller, we can do one of two things. So, if we were to actually change and do an updated schedule, we would need to update the commission bylaws to state that we're not meeting every month. We would identify the months that we would be taking off. Um, if it was going to be a here and there sort of situation like we've done in the past where we've had like a December or a July off, we would follow just the posting process for an actual meeting cancellation. So we can go one of two directions. Thank you. Okay, um, looks like uh, the consensus is emerging for nine meetings a year. Um, I would invite a proposal to kind of move on that. Um, Chairman Law, uh, let me see if I have this, this down correctly. So what we're looking at is uh, the proposal would be nine, month, nine meetings a year, uh, November, December off, and one floating month in the summer. That's my proposal or my motion. Oh leave the other month flexible can i amend that yes okay. um leave the month flexible all right all right any second on that um <clears throat> i had a little trouble hearing and 
that were you suggesting that November and December, not July and December? July, December off, and the other month kind of flexible. Okay. Um, you second again? Yes, I'll second it. Okay. Um, call for a vote. Uh, yep, we'll do a roll call. Um, Chair Law? Yes. Thank you. Vice Chair Miller? Yes. Thank you. Commissioner Marmon? Yes. Thank you. Commissioner Pankowitz? Yes. Thank you. Commissioner Wilcoxon? Yes. Thank you. Commissioner Cardella? Um, no, I would prefer to just keep it as is and then do the cancellations as we've been handling them so that we could cancel three or more meetings throughout the year. Okay, thank you. This is a no vote. And Commissioner Koftile? Uh, I'll also uh, no because I, I like the floating idea. Same nine months, but I guess you just need yes or no, so no. <laughs> Thank you. And motion carries. Thank you. Um, I guess that with the frequency that takes.